and Dean of the Faculty of Medicine, and it's a great pleasure to welcome you to the Southampton launch of the campaign for the Centre for Cancer Immunology. The campaign aims to raise £25 million to create an international centre for cancer immunology, to bring together teams of scientists and clinicians in world-class facilities to develop new treatments for cancer. Without more ado, it's my great pleasure to invite Peter Johnson, who's a Professor of Oncology at Southampton University and the Chief Clinician of Cancer Research UK. He'll then be joined on the panel by Professor Dame Jessica Corner. I'm a, a nurse by background, a cancer nurse, and I've worked in um, research and academia for very many years. Fiona Dalton. I'm the Chief Executive of um, University Hospital of Southampton. And Tom Wertham. What I'm here to do is to do the um, good luck story of being the chap who's had melanoma, diagnosed in August 2012, and now, fingers crossed, does not have melanoma. To speed up the pace of progress and to understand in a much more detailed way what the effects of these treatments might be. This is an incredibly rapidly moving field. It's quite a complicated field as well. So I think it, it gives us an opportunity to really stay at the front of this and to make sure that the things that we're doing really can turn into clinical benefit as fast as we can make. Whereas chemotherapy is always sort of whacking your body and whacks the good bits of your body and hopefully whacks the cancer bits as well, the immunotherapy is trying to help the body. So in that sense it feels much better as a patient to be benefiting from it, to know that your body's been boosted. And why do people, why do the really, really good world class people want to come and work at places like Southampton? Um, and they want to do that because we can be at the cutting edge of doing things differently, of discovering new things. Um, and that's a really exciting place to be. Prospects of this work um, are that actually not only are the outcomes going to be better, but we're going to have so many more people like Tom who are living a completely normal life rather than living with the consequences of maybe not having the treatment, but the consequences that are left from, from the treatment itself. What's like the people whose cancers go away, and this is an unusual thing to say for things like melanoma and, and lung cancer. It looks like when they've gone away, they stay away. It's not quick. One of the reasons for wanting to develop the center is firstly to accelerate that, and secondly to give us a, a, a platform with which we can collaborate with people like pharmaceutical companies who have just, they've got the resource to bring into these things to accelerate the progress much more. So this will act as a focus not only for internal research, but as a much more broad collaborative network, both in the UK and, and overseas and also in the commercial sector. Thank you again to those of you who have already supported the campaign. And I'd ask you all to consider how you might be able to help. When I was diagnosed, I had roughly a 50-50 chance of making it through. I've been able not only to survive and to be apparently happy and healthy now, but to do that while living my normal life, working pretty much as I normally would, playing sports, going out with friends, doing all the normal things that I did before, and I thought I probably couldn't be able to do it yet. Um, so it really is something I'm very, very lucky to have benefited from. And I'm here really just to support that and to encourage you all to support it.